Yo, hey guys, Ken Perryman here, and we are back again talking about the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. And this is side by side with the DJI Osmo Action 4. These are side by side. Currently in this video, it is at 4K 30 with no modifications, no color grading at all. 4K 30, no bending, it's the standard uh, view, and uh, everything is set to auto. And currently, the 5 Pro is not set in that super night mode. This is just normal video recording as I'm walking around at night. In addition to this, you'll see me turn the camera around towards myself a little bit. You can take a look at what the picture looks like with the person in there, see the vibrations and the shaking, especially on that lamp. You can can see on the left hand side a little bit a little bit more shakiness uh, and vibration than there is on the right hand side uh, camera but if you also look at the right hand side you'll see that I appear a little bit different and there's a little bit more um, I don't know the technical terms but there's just piece, appears to be a little bit of pixelating and, and differences in the artifacts or, or whatnot of my face or even my shirt. Continuing on and moving forward on this, I am walking out at night in a what I would call a standard walking mode where you're going to be dark at night but walking through lamps and lights where you're going to see a transition of lights going from dark to light and in this case I'm walking from one lamp post to the next. As you see I'm crossing a lamp post here. I'll get a lot of light from the back side. I'll be dark as you can see, and then the right hand side seems like it's got a little bit more pixels in it, but the left hand side still shows a little bit of vibration and shake, uh, even in my face. Then you see the light get in my face and it looks pretty good, and then it passes by again, and again you'll see that change. All right guys, in this picture right here, or in this video section, you'll see I have actually activated the Super Night Mode in the DJI Action 5 Pro. Can you tell which one it is? So, obviously, camera to camera there are some small differences there but if you see in this video you got to be telling me that you can see it but there is a clear difference between the two now not to say that it's perfect take a look at it you'll see when it gets a little bit darker there's still some clarity I'm still not gonna tell you which one it is I'm gonna let you guess just a little bit longer but here you can see that there is a clear difference in my opinion especially when there is a little bit of light around a decent amount of light it it does look like a little bit better picture now again this is one of those things you want to take into consideration is it's not necessarily the best picture it's just a better picture because once again guys we don't usually use action cameras at night they're action cameras they're meant to go out and be mounted to a bike or to a jet ski or to to a boat to a car to whatever um, your person when you're out running and jogging and, and swimming and fishing and doing all kinds of stuff during the day with plenty of sun to be able to give you all that light so you could have some great uh, picture effects and also great picture quality now as you see I'm walking between light posts here in this area right here this is the darkest that it gets we'll throw up a quick photo up here and I'll show you for a quick pause you can see that there is some difference, and I say some, there's quite a bit of difference uh, between the one picture and the other. It is clear that this is uh, a big improvement uh, over the previous device. You even look up at the sky, you can see that there's a little bit more detail. Um, you also see a little bit more of a cleaner picture. And all that is just by the added effect that has been added to this camera. Again, remember, it is a newer sensor on DJI Action 5 Pro than the Action 4, but it's still the same size. It's just newer, right? And then they have more features to it. So obviously this appears to be, and again, my opinion, a lot of added software uh, fixes to this. And it does look better. Again, don't always think that you need to have an action camera at night, but a lot of times when people are considering and using an action camera as their daily driver or nightly driver for everything that they're doing. You want to use it as much as you can. You don't want to have to switch from camera to camera to camera, right? So again, looking at this, you see the aircraft flying through the sky. A little bit better picture on the left hand side. You see a little bit more clarity in the sky, even though it's pretty much really dark outside. Not say pitch black, but it's pretty darn dark outside. So. Again, we're walking up to a more lit condition. When I make this turn to the left at this street, it's gonna be a bit better lit, and I think it's gonna be more of a real world condition where people will be walking um, at night, 
um, more representative of a realistic night walk where you probably would use this camera. Now we make the turn at the corner and as it gets a little bit darker, you'll see there, there's some tail lights that are shining on my face. I'm looking at some cars, but this is the side of the street in which there is a bit better lighting along the street. So this is the part that I probably would think that is a little bit more aligned to what people may be using for their camera usage if they decided to use this camera at night. So. Taking a look at it here, you can see that there is quite a bit of a difference between the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, you see that there is a little less pixelization or, or shifting of colors. You'll see that the blue shirt that I'm wearing, uh, it looks a bit better uh, on me in the left-hand picture. The sky looks a little bit more filled in and a little bit more contrasted from the clouds that are in the sky. You can see the signs are a little bit brighter as I'm walking past it. And even my face, you know, it uh, looks a little bit more natural, a little less red uh, than the right hand side. So if you haven't guessed it by now, yes, the left hand camera is the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro with Super Night Mode on. Here's the thing I want to tell you all you Action 4 users though. It still looks pretty decent with the Action 4, just that you need a little bit more consistent light. I think the best thing about this camera is its capability, uh, and again this camera being the Action 5 Pro, is with this added feature, it can handle a little bit more of the darker lights. Again, when I say darker lights, uh, darker lighting conditions is what I mean. That it can it can contrast, it can move between those two a little bit better. Is it perfect? No. Uh, does it work? As you can see here, it even seems like even when you get into the light in the background, it does kind of wash me out a little bit and kind of gets on the lens and, and, and gets you a little bit of a glare. But when you're using this and if your intent is to use it like I am at night to walk and maybe talk to the camera and say, hey, this is what's going on. This is what I'm doing for exercises. Um, your the Osmo uh, Action 5 Pro might be is definitely better suited for this this type of activity with, you know, the, the, the contrast and move of going from brighter light to a little bit darker uh, shadows and conditions. But is the four usable? Sure it is. Absolutely, it is, as long as you try to maintain an area in which you have a little bit more light. So, what do you think? Looks pretty good for an action camera operating at night. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that this is great video quality. Um, it, it's not, and it is actually in some cases, it's good video quality in some cases, but uh, again, we're trying to get in that world where can you use an action camera um, all the way around. Can you use it during the day? Can you use it at night? Can you use it in dark, dark conditions? Uh, you tend to, to kind of lean that direction a little bit with the uh, Action 5 Pro, but what we probably will need to do, and I'm going to do actually, is I'm going to put now my Action 5 Pro up against the Pocket 3. And why do we want to do that? Well, because there's no super night mode on the Pocket 3, but it is a full one inch sensor, whereas the, the Action uh, 5 Pro is the same size sensor uh, as the Action 4, which is not a full one inch sensor. So instead of, you know, necessarily seeing a software and, and gosh, I wonder if the Pocket 4 that comes out is going to have that capability of doing super night and, and maybe bringing in a bit more light. Because if you got a full one inch sensor that can do a lot better with night activities, and also have a software modification, it might be a really good camera at night. All right, so as we start to wrap up this video and you get to see the sky look, you can see in the background on the left-hand side of the camera, obviously the Action 5 uh, with the four, not much of the sky background, but you can see so much clearer down the street. Now, pretty much here, uh, we're just going to show you a few more shots of the video of walking across the street and maybe a still shot here of the actual um, side by side of the, the cameras themselves. But with that, um, we are going to be doing uh, a few more shots with different uh, perspectives with this camera, uh, looking at a few other features. But most importantly, uh, as we freeze it here in a second, I'd love to hear what you think about this and what you thought uh, of this, this night view mode or the super night mode that's on the Pro 5. So, love to hear this from you. Uh, please go ahead and leave me a little bit of uh, input, comments, whatever you thought, maybe something else you might like to see yourself. And with all that, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. I do appreciate your time, and I'm out.